Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com New Windows 10 build to look at and this is 21376 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel and the main change of this one is using the new uh, Sergio UI font which is variable so it looks better at small and large sizes this is just built into the UI into the um, into the build, but I'm not sure with every application and setting and everything is now using that, so it's hard to see. But my first impression is this looks like it's using the new font. So I'm using this on a uh, Surface. I'm using this on a Surface Go, um, so I've not got a large screen connected to it. So maybe I'll do some testing, put it up to a 4K monitor, and, and see if I can see the difference. But that's what supposedly what's in this this new you, you, you this new font and um i don't know that we'll see that in the various applications like in the news and settings and in file manager so like if in file manager whether that's using the new settings i suppose we could go and have a look and then we can see the new the new font and like I said earlier, I think you'll see the difference to this when you're running on small or large uh, screens. In, as particularly large screens, you'll see the difference. So what else has changed in this build? Um, there's just a few settings on here. Uh, around One is around HDR settings. So here you can just say whether HDR is on or off. So you see little settings there. Uh, the rest of the changes are fairly minor. They've made some improvements to the drag and drop cursor and... They've uh, tweaked some of the symbols in the emoji panel. Um, and then there's some fixes around news and interest. This is the news and interest that appears down here at the bottom. And um, they fixed some language issues and some WSL, uh, the Linux subsystem file performance issues. And um, also managing disks and volumes uh, in settings was showing some HDs as uh, SSDs. Uh, so they fixed that and they fixed some uh startup issues as well there's still some known issues only four with this the camera app doesn't support the default brightness uh, some areas of search may have a black box um but it seems to work out right but i have seen that uh there's some issues with uh showing a warning that your windows 10 has reached the end of service when it hasn't and there's an issue when using um, interest may not display correctly. But that's it for this build. There's not a huge amount of changes, but good to see those fonts in there, improving the UI slowly on in Windows 10, make it look more modern. That's 21376 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. You can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com. Uh, please like our videos if you do like them, and I'll at iSticks on Twitter.